Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about neuroscience, the field of neuroscience. And if you are eager to join field of neuroscience, if you are interested how human brain works and how brain networks work, how all our nerves are relaying information from the different parts of the body to the brain and want to work with some of the greatest and prestigious institutes of India and around the globe with human brain research and human brain development and human brain plasticity then neuroscience career is the career of option for you and if you opt for neuroscience career option in India then what are your options what you should do what you should not do that's what we will discuss in this particular video all right so the career of neuroscience sounds really interesting and intriguing and uh, the students coming in from right after plus two they always get excited of how nervous system works and how neurons interact with themselves how uh, the cognitive pattern and behavior uh, of individuals are regulated by the nerve cells and everything related to the brain and ba brain's function it will be studied under neuroscience and actually in india we have good institutes uh, where you can study neuroscience uh, different training of neuroscience either bsc neuroscience msc neuroscience and definitely phd in neuroscience and neurobiology so if you want to study neuroscience there are two different route the route is from right after your plus two now after plus two you can take either pcb or pcm doesn't matter after pcb you can go with the typical approach of graduation or bsc in neuroscience msc in neuroscience and then you can go with the PhD and postdoctoral research in neuroscience field or you can directly go for job opportunities after that. That's a typical approach but remember the graduation BSc in neuroscience and MSc in neuroscience options are very limited in India because very less place in India, very less institutes in India, they offer the graduation and masters in neuroscience. Although there are institutes offering PhD in neuroscience, but BSc and MSc in neuroscience have lesser uh, options in India. Although I'll put the list of institutes where you can do all this, uh, the list of major institutes of neuroscience, graduation, masters and PhD in India, you can probably see that here in the background, I put the list, the major three list uh, institutes in the top, then rest of the institutes are also provided. You can search the details regarding the neuroscience admission process of different fields in this institutes in India. Now apart from that the second route is uh, going to be PCM if somebody is going from the engineering background with the electrical engineer computer science as well as the biotechnology I'll put biotechnology in the engineering part there so biotechnology which is related to the biology field apart from that there's electrical engineer field as well as the computational biology field from these fields also a person can come and can pursue their career in neuroscience in fact uh, there are specific interdisciplinary region of neuroscience, particular branches of neuroscience that they require electrical engineers, they require computational, uh, the software engineers and to, to work with uh, the biology field experts to develop something new because uh, neuroscience is an interdisciplinary science, interdisciplinary subject. So if you want to pursue your career in neuroscience background, I'll request you to make yourself comfortable to deal with people from other backgrounds, people from technical backgrounds, people from computational biology background, people from different disciplines, from physics, from chemistry, from mathematics, uh, from engineering and computer uh, computer background. So that because the, this, this whole idea of uh, how brain works and how the brain processes works and right now is also combined with artificial intelligence and also the computational biology which is also known as the neuroinformatics and also neurolinguistics uh, which are something really really intriguing and interesting uh, to understand okay so that's why you should be very open about the subject so if you want to get into neuroscience background you must be really open to learn new things new skills and should not fear mathematics should not fear chemistry because if you fear chemistry and mathematics then i I'll tell that you should avoid this field because you need to be involved with some of these things really very close and you need to learn them and understand them. So keep yourself, uh, your mind open regarding this idea. Now we are going to see some major neuroscience institutes in India, the list of some important major institutes and uh, what are they? The very first one is the CNS, Center for Neurosciences by Inst Indian Institute of Science, IISC Bangalore. The second one is National Brain Research Center, NBRC, Haryana, Manesar Haryana. And basically, this NBRC, they conduct their own exam. And if you want to know more about the NBRC entrance examination, I already have a different video for that in my channel. You can check it out. Then we have Neemhans, Bangalore. 
then we have indian academy of neuroscience iain lucknow we have jiwaji university gwalior we have iit gandhinagar we have madras university uh, in msc in neuroscience chennai so these are and also the last one is sri ramachandra institute of higher education and research chennai so these are the places you can see the institutes are in bangalore in haryana in lucknow gwalior gandhinagar chennai all these places are filled with all these institutes they are important institutes and some of the four that are listed in the top are some more important institutes where the active research in neuroscience is going on you can check them out for their different kinds of degrees that they offer and you can join into any of this degree based on your requirement now what are the job profiles that are available right after your neuroscience background you know once you graduate and post graduate in neuroscience what kind of job offerings uh, are there for you or even you are a phd in neuroscience what kind of job offerings for you uh, it is behavioral and cognitive neuroscientist uh, study which studies functional such as the perception learning and memory it can be clinical neuroscientist uh, it can be developmental neurologist it can be a neuroanatomist it can be neurobiologist it can be neurochemist it can be neuropathologist neuropharmacologist neurophysiologist neuropsychologist okay and neurosurgeon obviously neurosurgeon and neuropsychologist those are uh, required from the medical field okay so medical field is something from directly mbbs md and for those degrees they are required but as i told you earlier that the neuroscience is a background where a person can go from a medical field as well as from a non medical field if you are from pcb background or pcm background you can try it out what are the branches of neuroscience that we know which are dealing with uh the issues with neuroscience and different branches goes like affective uh, neuroscience it can be behavioral neuroscience clinical neuroscience cognitive neuroscience computational neuroscience cultural neuroscience developmental neuroscience neuroimaging neuroinformatics neurolinguistics neurophysiology and there are some more as well so these are the branches of neuroscience that are going on the sub branches so in india also in different institutes you will see that the research is going on from different dif different type of sub branches of neurosciences so depending upon your field of study if you are coming from a technical field or engineering field you will be dealing with uh, the uh, the computational neuroscience or cognitive neuroscience if you are from medical field you will be dealing with clinical neuroscience behavioral neuroscience uh neuroimaging and if you know mri ct those imaging then you go neuroimaging neuroinformatics uh, is something where you can try after physics background and neurolinguistics you can study as well which is uh, related to the speech therapy as well right after uh, the massive uh, right, right after any kind of you know uh, attacks or strokes strokes okay so that's uh, the list of the different branches of neuroscience that are available and you can appear in and try your career too so what is the practical scope of neurosciences in india see neuroscience uh, in india is a subject something uh, that uh, is demanding obviously but again the field that demands for neuroscience is actively the hospitals and the people with uh, neural degenerative disorders neural degenerative diseases like alzheimer disease parkinson's disease so there are institutes in india who are working we try to work with this but they need more support uh, because uh, a single fact i can tell you that worldwide overall uh, the neurosurgeon the number of neurosurgeon uh, is very low so generally throughout the world uh, if you can compare throughout particularly the developed countries you can say like one neurosurgeon per 2 lakh to 3 lakh individuals but in india that is 1 lakh neuro uh, one neurosurgeon for 30 lakh individuals so one neurosurgeon is there for 30 lakh individuals in india so you can see the amount of pressure, pressure that person is going through and for the neural science to understand a problem it requires at least 30 to 45 minutes to deal with a single patient so we need a lot of outpatient we need a lot of uh, other paramedic uh, fields or conditions where the people can help and assist the doctor assist the nurse for this process but the whole idea of this paramedic the whole idea of this hierarchy is not properly developed in india yet although we need people in that field but we don't have that infrastructure we don't have that proper approach to go in there because people are not aware of this fields after plus 2 and once they are aware uh, they simply go for the ct mri training and then join there rather than that if people are properly trained after plus 2 then we can give something good then we can keep someone who can go with the neuroimaging neurolinguistics and all these other processes which are 
a supportive field for the neurosurgeon, a supportive field for the neurosurgery in overall idea. So that's why in India, as I, I can say that the infrastructure is not uh, well built up. Although people are discussing about that, there are some big name institutes that I already showed you the picture with. They are working side by side with uh, the different funding agencies to develop this infrastructure. So maybe in future times it will be developed very well. But right now, even after uh, neuroscience study after graduation and master you might f find it not that easy to get a job but you can still get it if you practice if you if you if you follow a contact and if you follow what you need to do after your graduation and masters of neuroscience you will do phd you can go with the phd scheme and be a lecturer that's one uh, opportunity second is that after doing phd you can continue research work in india or abroad as a postdoctoral research fellow and then uh, you can also join in the hospitals and the private center, uh, centers and also the Alzheimer's uh, treatment centers, uh, the different uh, places where they institutionalize uh, the Alzheimer's patients and Parkinson's patients where you can also join and in the supportive care of that. So these things are possibilities which are increasing day by day. So you can continue with your journey in the neuroscience background. So that's kind of it regarding the neuroscience background in India, neuroscience career in India in 2022. So if you are appearing in neuroscience career in 2022, you're doing something new, something uh, different. So the level of competition will be comparatively low, but again, the number of seats are also low there. So while you're preparing your graduation masters in neuroscience or PhD in neuroscience, it's always better that you build your path and you should start seeing the future uh, by building contacts. That's very, very important in your MSCs. Okay, so that's all about neuroscience career in India in 2022. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.